Hey everyone, welcome to Return to Monkey Island. I'm Disturbing Puppet. We're continuing on. We're here in Bermuda where things are quite cold. Let's go ahead and head in and see what we can do. Uh, we're mainly here to find Stan who can help us out with. Uh, it's amazing they stay lit in this weather. Marketing and sort of some help as far as getting people convinced to actually use limes to treat their scurvy. Once we have that, maybe we can actually make a little bit of progress. It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. All right, so much for that. Is there anything I could use to, like, get a fire going and carry with me? Doesn't seem like it. Well, we've actually got a way to the island center here. Let's try the courthouse since it's here. Try to ask him about this probate. I submit these official looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Except for the fancy box that Brad from accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of set items. I have no idea what you just said, but thanks for the key. Order! Order in the court! Outbursts of thanks will not be tolerated. Alright then. Well, that was easier than expected. We have our first key. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. Order! Order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? Innocent. Due to lack of evidence, all charges have been dropped. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery, or there will be arrests! Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes? <laughs> or are they court appointed? Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! What did Your Honor do wrong to get this appointment? Never beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! Okay, I thought we might be able to try to convince him to let Stan go. I guess not. Uh, so we have an interesting looking fish. Got keys. Now there's someone I've got to meet. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. I wonder if that's actually... Is that a foot? That's a foot. There's a... There's a foot in the bloody trap. Okay. Um, yeah, I wonder if that's actually the key and the person here is frozen. Oh, is there a way to... It's amazing they stay lit in this weather. Transfer the fire. The wind must have blown out the fire. Oh. Alright, let's go to the island center. Still need Stan. So what do we have? Ice castle. Ice quarry. Town center. That seems to be all. Okay, let's go to the quarry first. Let's go to the coffin with a 
the guard is guardedly guarding the guardhouse. Some kind of chimney on it. Well, you're a chum, so before we do anything. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden... My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with the hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. Not a half bad story. You know who you should talk to? Elaine Marley. She's kind of famous, but she's nice. She might see you. She just might. Thanks. Wait, did she have one? I'm an idiot. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here, just out. What's the purpose of your visit? It's a social call. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Okay, so that's where the picture comes in. I need my picture to put with Stan. Hmm... Hey, that is prisoner Stan with the famous Governor Marley. I didn't know he was such a player. Okay. All right, so we actually have... Do not approach the gate, please, sir. A few things we can try. So, for my picture, I think we need different fish. But let's go talk to Elaine first. Is there anything special about this stump? No. Why? Well, it was tagged, so I thought, you know, maybe there would be a great gag about a secret opening to a system of tunnels or something like that. Please, don't joke about tunnels next to the prison, sir. Speaking of that, nothing else. All right. Uh, we do have the ice castle to check out. I guess I can do that first while I'm here. Nice. 
nice view. Roaring fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject. She's got one of the books as well, the same one. It's slowly filling up with castle. This entire castle is made of ice. Thank goodness there's a fire, or it'd be freezing. Ah. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. Hmm. Why? What's the deal with this book? I don't suppose. Okay, I can't light the fire. weather we're having. Urk. I see. Bermuda seems like a friendly place. Grunt. Yeah, I feel you. Oh, most regal, high, authoritative, benevolent ruler person. <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brush Threepwood, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. From when she was governor of Melee? That was before I won my throne, but she does keep her hand in. And both feet. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? Frozen. Parrots. I need your help to recover the secret of Monkey Island. There are these five golden keys. I'm... Vaguely aware of them. You can obviously see the one on my crown. The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Naturally, you'll want to have that cleaned once in a while. It stays perfectly clean as long as I don't let greasy pirates put their paws all over it. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it. Win it. Rest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. I have some of those things. We'll see. Then no cheating. We'll see. Can you give me more details on the contests to become queen? The contest of heartiness is an eating contest. Raw fish. Call it sushi if it helps you sleep better. The contest of seriousness is one where you must keep a straight face. Whoever laughs first loses, which I never do. The contest of intelligence is an algebra test. 20 second time limit, best answer wins. And yes, I do always have the best answer. You sound like you're serious about this.
I challenge you to the contest of heartiness. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mio. Another challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the Contest of Heartiness. As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is hagfish. Yuck. Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. Okay, so we have to bring the right fish here. It's the soon-to-be former queen. Okay, something here. It's carved out of wood, but it's very lifelike. There's something about the shape. Okay, so that's one. I think that's where we just were. Well, maybe not. Okay, that's the algebra. I can feel all the warmth escaping up the chimney. It's an empty bucket. Can't take it. There's probably some trick to each one of them. That's the fishy thing. It's an empty bucket. Smells pretty fishy, though. So I'll have to bring the hagfish. I feel like we need to give different fish to that bird as well. I feel like I'm like partially stuck through a bunch of different puzzles at the same time. Okay, let's go ahead and leave. Let's go talk to Elaine. Fellow chum? Guybrush! You've joined the chums! I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden, My ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden...
my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Ugh. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. I think you've got it. That was really good, sweetie. You should tell a story to the chum's leadership at the Codswall at Fish Shop. All right, so we're ready for that. Other fish for. Although I'm not actually sure it's going to work. I just said that it would eat it. Doesn't mean it actually is going to work to get the picture, but I need that picture. So we'll head back, we'll talk to them, and then switch out the fish for something else. Hello. First, go with the fish. Can I trade in my fish for some other ones? Always happy to take a trade in. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, mm. slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? So that's the lump head. Slime head. No, that's lump sucker. I don't know. So that's hagfish. Toadfish. I'm not sure. Let's just go with the... No, we can wait on the hagfish because we'll need them for that mission up there. Bloater. Bloater. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. So the bloaters... They're semi-bloated. Okay. <sighs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden... I'm trying to use all the different stuff, so I'm kind of sticking to the same. My ship was story. swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. Is it all right if I take this flag with me? That would be within your rights as a well-respected chum of the highest order. Seriously? Be sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. Okay, well that's one of three. 
It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about 15 by 15 and full of holes. Hmm. I still have the thing in the museum here to figure out as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. All right. You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Make two things? How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, a uh, coincidence. Hi. Bright boy. How was your search? I've got a golden key. Then we're equal now. You come back when you got more than me. Maybe we can talk about something. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> Something's gone horribly wrong here. Somehow I don't think he's doing fine. That was such a nice sign. Wally? What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Who could have done this? I guess LeChuck, obviously. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. Well, since his name is Wally, it's making me wonder if he's really here, just hidden. Am I missing him? America, it's where's Waldo, and most of the places it's where's Wally. So that's why I was thinking he might be hidden somewhere. Okay. Hello. Hmm. It's not like her to leave the place unlocked. Also, I smell brimstone and beard oil. LeChuck's been here, and that magical glow on the safe is new. I bet that's his work. Unless it's Captain Lila. I don't know what this glow means, but I bet it means LeChuck. Or Madison. Either way, I'd better find the keys soon. I don't think it's going to be quite so easy. Alright, nothing else here. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is to try different fish with the... Someone to face Delane's scurvy flyer. Okay. Um, is to try different fish with the bird to try to get my picture. That would lead me then to Stan. sure what else I can do, though. We could check out Terror Island as well. There's probably something there that connects. So, yeah, we'll go to Scurvy, try the fish we've got. Yeah, Lane's here. Would you like some loter fish? Full of hot air or something? Ah! That bird needs an attitude adjustment. Okay, timing's a little bit off on the sound there. Can I season it? Ah, to give it some zip.
Alright, that works. It's a torn painting of me. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. Nice. Okay. So there's the original. And then we have <laughs> our version of Stan. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, while we're here, we'll check in with Elaine real quick. Hi. Hi. Upset about the mop tree? You wouldn't happen to have a mop, would you? Not anymore. I see. No problem. I don't actually need one. I was just curious. What do you think of Stan Stanman as a marketing advisor? He's in jail, but maybe he can look at the pamphlet anyway? That guy could sell fleas to a dog and probably would. Just what we need, actually. Good idea. I'll go find Stan now. Thanks. Love you. You too. Okay, just want to say it before going. All right, I think we'll go ahead and end here. So we actually have some progress we can make. And we're going to head up and try to go talk to Stan and see what kind of help we can get from him. Um, we've got the three trials up there. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. We might check out Terror Island as well. So we'll just head to Bermuda really quick. And we'll go ahead and continue from here next time. Alright, so this has been more Return to Monkey Island. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.